actually did our whole story time and it didn't work. It, it did not post. So um, here we are again. <laughs> As you can see, um, I am, well, first of all, my name is Miss Erin and I am coming to you live from the Mount Airy Library. Look how awesome. So we are in and we are working to serve you. So next, um, next week, so starting Monday, June 8th, um, you are available to pick up your holds. So you can either call us at the library starting at 10 o'clock on Monday or place your holds online via our website and then schedule a time to come and pick up your holds. So once you schedule a time, we will, um, put, we will check them out to you around that time. We will put them in a bag and then we will put them out with your name on it into our lobby. So you can come in, um, please practice social distancing, wear your face masks, but then come in and you can grab your holds and go. So as you can see, since I'm in the branch, we have been wearing our face masks, but I'm actually in our small meeting room right now and there's no one else in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take it off for this program. So hello, I'm so excited to be back. Um, thank you guys for joining us in this space. Uh, as I said, um, we're going to be available for curbside pickup with holds, um, but we, our programming is still going to be online um, throughout the summer at least. So here we are. I wanted to say hello. We miss you. And today our story time is all about gorillas. So um, if you can think of gorillas, what do you know about gorillas? Hmm. They're big. Mm -hmm. They make have a deep voice like, ooh, 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 ooh. They maybe beat their chest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And so later, before we finish today, we're going to do a song where you kind of beat your chest along. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's right. Yes. And I have a friend here who can tell us a little bit more. All right, Mr. Friend, here we go. Hello, hello. My name is... Mr. Gorilla, right? Uh-huh. Yep. I'm Mr. Gorilla and I have a long, beautiful tail and I go, ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. I mean, I mean, I go, ooh, 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 ooh. Wait a second. You're Mr. Gorilla. Uh, that's right. That's right. I'm Mr. Gorilla. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Mr. Gorilla, that's me. Wait a second, though. I didn't think that gorillas have tails. I thought that only monkeys, monkeys. All right, fine. Okay. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I can't do this anymore. Yep. I have a tail. That means I am a monkey. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 That's right. That's right. Oh, okay. Okay. So you're not a gorilla, right? No. Sadly, no, love. I'm not a gorilla. Gorillas are much, much bigger than me. And um, let's see, they live a little bit longer than I do. And they um, have bigger brains than me. And they are closely related to you, me, and you. You? Yeah. So gorillas are hominids, which means that they are pretty closely related to us, just like chimpanzees. And monkeys, not so much. That's right, not so much. Do you have a tail? Mm, let's see. Nope. I don't have a tail. Mm -mm. Nope, nope. Okay, yeah. So gorillas, gorillas are more closely related to you, but monkeys, you can't say no to this tail, right? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, very good. So where in the library could we find out more information about the differences between monkeys and gorillas and apes and things like that? Do you know, Mr. Monkey? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. So uh, if you go to the nonfiction section, that means nonfiction means that it is fact. Then there are books about monkeys and apes and gorillas and all kinds of animals that live all over the world. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. I think I have some here. So I'm going to show my friends. Um, are you cool with just peacing out for a little bit? Yep, no problem. I'll be right over here, love. Just let me if you need me. Okay, thanks, sir. All right, thanks, Mr. Monkey. That was cool. That was, I feel like we learned a lot. So if we wanted to learn more, we would go to our nonfiction section where we could find books about monkeys. Check it out. He's got a tail. We could find books about gorillas. And maybe if we read both of these, we would know the difference. And we can find books about 
all of them. Apes, monkeys, gorillas, chimps, orangutans, all kinds of fun creatures. And if you look in the nonfiction section, you would know that it is nonfiction because it has a number on the side, just like this. So that's how you know that the books that you're reading in that section are based on fact, right? Okay, so more than just the nonfiction section, we also have an easy picture book section. And those are usually just, those are stories. Some of them might be based on real things, but a lot of them are just stories. And I wanted to share some today that I personally love. And I think that a lot of these we've read in Storytime in the branch before, so you might know these too, or you just might know them from checking them out as well. Our first one is a total classic. This is called Good Night Gorilla. And this is by Peggy Rathman. And since it is by Peggy Rathman and no one else, it means that she drew the pictures and she wrote the words. And it starts out with our little gorilla. And he is at the zoo, but look what he's doing. He is taking the keys. He's taking the keys of the zookeeper. And let's see the next page. He, oh my gosh, he gets out of his cage and ooh, 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 he is sneaking behind that zookeeper. And look who they pass. They pass the elephant. And they say, good night, elephant. Now, do you think with his, his keys, he's going to unlock the cage of this elephant? Hmm, you will have to read the book to find out. Do you think the zookeeper ever finds out that the gorilla has let out himself and maybe some other animals? We will have to see. So this is Good Night Gorilla. This is by Peggy Rathman, and it's wonderful. The, other, the next book that I wanted to tell you about is a rhyming book. It's very cute, and it is called Still a Gorilla. And this is by Kim Norman, and it's illustrated by Chad Geron. And it starts out with our friend, a gorilla, and his name is Willie. This is Willie, as you can see. Willie is a gorilla. Look where Willie lives. He lives at the zoo too, just like in Good Night Gorilla. Hmm. Willie would like to be something else. What else would he like to be? So here he is, he's a gorilla. What other animals do you see on here? I see a lion. Mm -hmm. I see a crocodile. I see a goat. I see a walrus, Ooh, look at his big teeth. And I see, what do you think that is? Maybe a kangaroo? Maybe, maybe a kangaroo. So in order to find out if Willie is able to become another animal or maybe pretend to be another animal, you will have to read Still a Gorilla. And again, that's by Kim Norman. Yay. Okay, the last book I wanted to share with you today is my personal favorite. I like them all, but this is my personal favorite. And this is called Betty Goes Bananas. This is by Steve Antony. And our character Betty, oh, here we go. Here's our end papers. What do you see there? <gasps> so many bananas. So Betty, here she is. She looks beautiful. Betty was hungry. She saw a banana. She wanted to eat it. But the banana would not open. Betty tried using her hands and her teeth and her feet. And then suddenly, Betty cried and sniffled and kicked bang, 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 and screamed. Do you think that helped the banana? It was still not open. So she took a deep breath. <sighs> she let it out. And she calmed down. There is no need for that, said Mr. Toucan. Watch, I will show you how to peel a banana. And he showed Betty how to peel the banana. 
but you will have to read the rest of the book to find out if she is able to finish peeling the banana, if she's able to eat the banana, and if she throws a temper tantrum again. So that was Betty Goes Banana, and that was by Steve Antony. And to end our program today, I wanted to share with you a gorilla song that I learned that I would like you to sing along with me. And I have the words here. And the first part goes, boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. And we do that three times, okay? And when we do boom, diddy, you can take your fists and pound them like a gorilla would. Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. Down in the jungle where nobody goes, there's a great big gorilla washing his clothes with a rub-a-dub there and a rub-a-dub here. That's the way he's washing his underwear. Oh, my gosh. He's washing his underwear. A gorilla? That is so silly. Okay, let's try it again. We always sing our songs three times so we get better. So we're going to do it two more times. Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom. Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. Down in the jungle where nobody goes, there's a great big gorilla washing his clothes with the rub-a-dub here and a rub-a-dub there. That's the way he's washing his underwear. Oh, <laughs> so funny. Okay, you ready for one last time? Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. Down in the jungle where nobody goes, there's a great big gorilla washing his clothes with the rub-a-dub here and a rub-a-dub there. That's the way he's washing his underwear. <laughs> so funny. That is so silly. Can you imagine a gorilla in a great big pair of underwear? Wow, we. Okay, as always, we've been ending our programs with our affirmations, so I'm going to call out Mr. Matt the monkey, remember he's not a gorilla, to see if he can help us with our affirmations. Ooh, 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 ah, 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 that's right, love, that's right, all righty. What am I saying, what am I saying? Let's look at our paper here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so Matt, you're going to say it first, and then we're going to repeat you, okay? Sounds good, sounds good. Okay, boys and girls, can you say, I am great. I am great. I am smart. I am smart. I am strong. I am strong. I am loved. I am loved. Today will be awesome. Today will be awesome. Yay! Thank you so much for joining us, friends. We will see you next time. And again, don't forget to go to our website and do what? Place your holds. Mm -hmm. You're going to place your holds and pick them up in our lobby. Woohoo! All right, awesome. Thank you so much, friends. We will see you next time. Bye!